So, um, hi. Warning. Uh, two things. First off, this video is going to be a bit more personal and sensitive than we are all normal to here on the channel. Um, I say that though it's I've I've disappeared for like six months now again. Um, secondly, there is going to be trigger warnings, and I'm going to say the actual words because the only reason YouTubers don't usually do that is monetization and age restriction and I don't have to worry about that because I'm not to the point where I can be monetized um yeah also I will be reading off of a script this video something disconnected from my computer it's fine but um I worked on a script for a little bit over a week um it's if I just sat down and talked I wouldn't cover all the points that I want to. Um, and I I am afraid of it feeling disingenuous, but with how broken my brain is, this is the only way that works for me. Um, yeah, with that being said, let's get into it. Um, the first thing I said is how weird I feel scripting this. Um, so I have spent the last few years, of around five years now, working as well as going to school. For a few of those years, I was also working on YouTube, but that was very off and on because I am bad about editing. I have very bad executive dysfunction. And honestly, if tasks don't have a deadline, they just, they won't get done um, pretty much with me. I've held quite a few jobs. And for now, scholarships cover community college for me. And before I say this next part, Please know that this video is going to be very personal, and this is the trigger warning. Uh, I'm putting it here for depression, suicide, and anything remotely related, including suicide attempts, because we will be discussing that. Um, please be warned. Just keep that in mind. I am serious. I am serious. Trigger warning. I have come to the unfortunate conclusion that I most likely will not be happy in my life. I don't know if I'll even be okay mentally at any point. Now, I know that sounds dramatic. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. I know. Um, I haven't really said it out loud up until this point because of how stupid it sounds. Um, besides, to my therapist, and I uh, don't really remember if I even told her. <laughs> um, for what it's worth, I am diagnosed with major depression, general anxiety disorder. I have very high test scores for anxiety. And uh, I also have PTSD, diagnosed PTSD. I have always been open and honest about my mental state, who I am and where I stand as a person. And I always try to be genuine and myself. I just know that this may be a little much for some people. Um, so this next part is gonna be, it's gonna be worse. So please know that, leave now if, be warned. In June of this year, I made my most serious attempt at suicide that I have before. It was my third attempt. I did end up in the hospital. It was the first time that I got that far, at least. I'm getting better at it. <laughs> um, I never really planned on saying this on my channel because I don't want to use it for intention. Um, I'm saying this uh, because this is just where my mental state is at now, and it has been for a long time. Um, I grew up with my anxiety and depression. As far as childhoods go, mine could have been worse. Um, it could have been better, too, though. I had very absent parents for a variety of reasons, um, and never really got to learn how to handle my emotions or other things the parents are supposed to teach you. <laughs> I don't think I've ever exactly been okay in my life. My depression and anxiety have held me back for as long as I can remember, and they've made life a, a bit harder for me, just, just a smidge. Um, my PTSD was not present for my childhood. Uh, I think that's typical of a lot of people with PTSD, but I'm not sure because I only know myself that has it. Um, uh, lost my spot. But started up, it started up in my teenage years after I was sexually assaulted. Um, I do not feel the need to get into this at the moment. I can in the future if people want me to, but it's obviously traumatic. Um, it happened multiple times too, but it was all while I was a teenager, so 
the memories aren't very fresh anymore, which is nice. Uh, I have been in therapy on and off since the age of 16 to 17, so for about six years. I didn't go sooner because of my mom. She, she's better now. Um, she doesn't like therapists. Well, what it is is that it was different when she was a kid, and they pushed meds on her, and she did not want that for me because they made her not herself. They diagnosed her with the wrong thing, and they turned her into a zombie, as she put it. Um, so she was just worried about me. She was also absent, so... It, yeah. Um, I do think most people would say this is long enough to see a change, uh, six years in therapy, but I'm not sure. I have a very bad concept of time, and I uh, don't really know other people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually had to look for when my hospital visit was so I could include it. Um, you know, that fits in the concept of time thing I just said. Um, however, I can't say that I've personally noticed a difference in my mental health. Uh, in fact, I believe it's been declining, if that's even possible. I've noticed that there's less times where my mood is up in way, way more times where my mood is down. <laughs> um, all of this to say, I do not know what I'm doing with my life. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I want. I know a few things that I want. I would love to pursue my education and actually get my associates in computer science. But the thing that I want to do the most right now is YouTube and Twitch, but I have to have a job and college is also pretty important. YouTube is like, yeah, there's a bunch of people that have gotten famous now, but it's hard. It's YouTube, I don't think any platform is very good about discoverability anymore. They just want to show you things to make money, and smaller creators don't, don't do that for them. So they don't show the smaller creators. I think part of it is that I'm not an interesting person. Um, people have told me that I'm interesting. People have told me that I have a nice voice, but obviously it's the minority of people. Sorry, my shoulder hurts. Um... So yeah, yeah. as much as I want to do it, I don't think it's something that I will be able to do. Um, yeah, um, I do know one thing, and it's that I'm absolutely sick of myself. And the reason I haven't been posting is because I've just been beyond depressed. Um, if I'm not actively suicidal, I am at least hoping that I die. Um, that is pretty much constant. Uh, I can't even hold down a part-time job at a grocery store. One of the jobs that is supposed to be easy-ish. I know, retail is hell. Trust me, I know, I worked the jobs. But in my mind, for myself, that job is supposed to be easy. Other people can do it, so I should be able to as well, you know? I have much higher expectations of myself than I do literally anybody else. I'm just not fair to myself. But in my mind, it feels justified because I hate myself. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyways, I've worked for four different companies now. Um, I just started at another one, so five. Actually, I start tomorrow. Uh, altogether, I have worked a total of about six jobs. That to be seven, I think, if I'm counting. Yeah, if I'm counting right. Um, I do, for what it's worth, always put my two weeks in. I'm always very professional. Um, sometimes the problems, a few times the problems have been family issues, or we've had to move a few times, so then I had to quit my job. But the last few times, it has been my mental state. It has been my declining mental state, and I've just told them, I just, I can't do this anymore. I just can't. You're probably not used to seeing this, but I'm gonna end up killing myself. I'm sorry, I have to quit. And then I'll put my two weeks in and I'll just go for it, man. <laughs> for the last two weeks. <sighs> yes, I am kind of a fake adult. I am only 21. I have many more years of life ahead of me. If I'm unlucky, that is. <laughs> um, but I do think I've collected enough data, so to say, to realize that I just, I don't know how much longer I can do this. I work because I don't have a choice which I know is why a lot of people work, obviously, where we wouldn't do it. Nobody wants to work. 
if we could just vacation all the time, that's what we would do. Because it's fun. We want to enjoy life. We don't want to work it away. But, yeah. Basically, you... My dog is attacking me. You want to make the video with me? Come on. Don't bonk your head. Don't bonk your head. Don't bonk your head. He's, he's good. Okay. Um... Don't. I work because I don't have a choice, which I know is why a lot of people work. I already said that. You need money to exist in this world. You need money, you get a job. I'm very fortunate to be able to live with my mom. Ow. But as a 21 year old, I am very ashamed of it. Um, I know that it's been happening more and more lately that adults end up having to stay with their parents in the same home. But, I she also worth mentioning. I know that uh, multi-generational homes have also been normal in different cultures. They've been normalized for a very long time. But here in America, that's never been normalized. <laughs> never. It, it has been happening more and more here that adults have to stay with their parents. But I grew up in a world where if you live with your parents past the age of 18, you're a basement dwelling loser and a scourge on the world. I'm not about the stigma. I already hate myself. I wish, I wish I had a place that I could go, but like, no, that costs money. <laughs> um, yeah, the longest job I've been able to hold was for 11 months. So not even a year. I have a not great cycle of depression where I can be okay for a few months before I crash for basically no reason. Sometimes I crash so badly that I do actually act on my own urges to end my life. I put the own in the wrong way. I personally believe the unfortunate part of the cycle is that I've failed at that three times now. I'm sure there are some people out there that would agree with me. <laughs> I'm sure there's a word for what I'm feeling, but I don't know. I looked at things like nihilism and something else, but it's... <sighs> Yeah, life is pretty meaningless to me, personally, but it's more than that. It's pessimism. It's a complete hatred of life. <laughs> Honestly. It's not a complete... It's a general hatred of life. I, I'll, 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 I'll be more... I'll be, not, I'll be more nice. Um, I'm on more of a roll than last time. Last video was 30 minutes long, and I was so worried. What I feel when I work is just that I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I can't. I don't like to get political in general, especially not on my own channel, but in this case, it is warranted, I feel. Though there was that one commentary video that I- two commentary videos that I made, so I don't know how true that is. I still like the gaming videos more, though. They're more fun. I do like putting things out into the world, though, like, like my commentary videos. I just feel like I don't have enough valuable things to say. <laughs> um. There's a lot of countries that suck. In my eyes, the entire world sucks. <laughs> but I have experienced how much America in particular sucks. How much capitalism sucks. We're all expected to work ourselves to death, but most companies, especially the ones I have worked at, personally, aren't willing to pay you enough to live. I honestly think most people are selfish by default, and that's why we're here today. The highest paying position I had was sixteen fifty an hour, and it wasn't it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. It was as a stalker at a pretty big grocery store in my area. I am surprised I lasted as long as I did. <laughs> um, and I think a few months after I quit is when my attempt was, so... That, that says something there, huh? Um, <sighs> anyways, that's why we're here today. Because people are selfish. Because the wealthy hoard and nobody cares about the poorer people on the bottom. I don't know how anyone lives this way. And the fact that I'm expected to. And the fact that any of us are expected to. Is like a slap in the face. I don't want to wake up every day and go to a job that I hate. I don't want to spend 40 plus hours a week at this job. Just so I have enough money to have a place to live. And food to eat so that I can work more. Most sane people don't want that. And the way it is anymore... Working a full-time job isn't even enough for that. It's very common anymore for people to work two or even three jobs. Maybe some people even work more. In one of the positions I worked, I worked with a very nice older lady who just, she couldn't afford to retire. Do you know how terrifying that is as a person who already struggles with life? 
I can't even imagine living past, I genuinely cannot even imagine living past 30, but living past the age of 60 and still having to work, I could never, I absolutely could never, I, I can't imagine that, I don't know, I, my brain cannot comprehend it at all. Anyways, I hate that we're all expected to be miserable and just live with it. Now, um, here's the next part. Education is supposed to fix this. Education is supposed to make it so that you have a good job where you can make enough money so that you just have space to exist. My thing is that I am absolutely not willing to go into debt for an education that may not even aid me much. There's plenty of people out there who have degrees higher than an associate's, which, which is the degree I would be getting an associate's in computer science, and they just can't find work. So they still need to work a shitty job with shitty pay. I just hate this country. I hate this world. And, um, not to sound ungrateful, uh, I just hate life. And trust me, I do know there's tons of people who have it worse. Some people don't even get paid for their work. Slavery literally still exists. Child slavery still exists. There's people who are starving, suffering, and even people who are actually brave enough to end their own lives. I won't get into that. I don't think it's a heroic act to end your own life. I do think it's sad. It's just, I think those people are more brave than me because I'm too afraid of death. Um, yeah. The first thing I do when I feel myself getting depressed is reminding myself that it could be worse, and then I proceed to invalidate all of my problems, because honestly, I feel lazy. I feel like a bum. I hate myself. I have so many big feelings, and I just don't know what to do with them. I do want to come back to YouTube. I want to stream. But I'm a very low energy person, and I think a lot of that is due to depression. I did have a sleep study done recently. Um, I was hoping that just going to the doctor could possibly fix something and make life a little bit easier. Um, but apparently, I only have very, very minor sleep apnea. He either said 14 disturbances an hour, which sounds like a lot, so I think that's wrong, or 14 disturbances all night, um, where I, you know, stopped breathing for a little bit, just, just a tiny bit. Not enough to, like, really be concerned about it. I think, probably. They didn't really show me the result. Like, I could comprehend that. I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> anyways, my insurance is not gonna cover the sleep apnea machine mask thing, because it's so minor that, like, it's not gonna make a difference. <sighs> but the fact that my lack of energy is very likely not due to my quality of sleep, that just fucking, it sucks. I was, again, I was really just hoping to go to the doctor and just we could find something that worked but i'm just depressed that seems to be my whole problem my problem is me um therapy just didn't help much either and psychiatry uh because you know therapists i don't know if therapists usually don't prescribe meds or if it's just a weird case for me but i think it's usually psychiatrists that prescribe meds um but we have tried four different medications now. I'm on the fifth, and I had already tried my own over-the-counter meds before that. I tried St. John's Wort, and I think 5-HTP, something like that. Obviously not as good as, like, actual prescribed meds. They're not going to help you as much. Um, I do know now, however, that edibles help for the duration of the high lasts, um, and about roughly a day after if the dose is high enough. After the fact, though, things are much, much worse. Um, I talked to some friends about it, and they explained it to me this way. That's that I'm putting all of my emotions back onto a broken system. I am the broken system. It's me. I'm broken. Um, so, yeah. I also just don't want to be dependent on that. I already have a lot of irritability, just about every day. And I don't want withdrawals from being high to add to that. Um, I would like to only use edibles when I am so mu in so much pain that I can't get out of bed because that happens a few times a month to me, which is 10 out of 10 would, 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 would do again. And I would do it again. Um, probably sometime this month because it happens a lot. It's fun. It's very fun. I would recommend it. Yep. <sighs> I've had it since I was a teenager and just nobody, no doctor has ever taken me seriously because what young person is in, in, in pain this often, you know? <laughs> And I weighed less back then, too. And now they just say, lose weight, lose weight. I weighed less before. And the pain was still there. My mom weighs less than me. And she still has the pain, too. So. <sighs> well, 
Life sucks, dude. Um, anyways. Actually, I need to. Okay. I know that medications aren't the only solution. Trust me. I've been implementing lifestyle changes to the best of my own abilities. That's what they're called. Lifestyle changes. <laughs> that sounds so much better, right? I finally cleaned my room. I've gotten better about showering such on time. Though not lately because I'm having another depression spike, which is always fun. Um, I just do my best. I like my therapist too. Oop. Uh, but I just feel that sometimes she gets mad at me. I felt it especially strongly during our last call, and my first instinct when I'm depressed is to push everyone away. So, her showing negative emotions because I'm depressed was not something that I needed. Um, Max. Buddy. No. He keeps, like, just running into the camera. Um, anyways, I wanted to record this before I just didn't. I think anyone who is still following me deserves an update, though I don't expect many people to even see this. I don't know when I'll be back, or if I will, though I have always wanted to do YouTube, so. For as long as I'm alive, I will at least want to. I grew up with YouTube gamers, and honestly, I really look up to two in particular, Jack and Mark. I didn't have friends growing up, or really anyone, <laughs> but I lived across the street from the public library for a while until about seventh grade so i would always go there to watch youtube and read though i did read much more often than watching youtube um there were timers on the computers i didn't like to hog them from other people anxiety and also i was very embarrassed for people to see what i was doing on the computers um because i would just play games and watch videos so you know not exactly the best use of public computers uh, but i was a kid so <sighs> um those YouTubers did give me a reason to laugh and smile when I otherwise wouldn't have had one. They still do that for me. Uh, I don't really feel the need to meet them. And I would like to clarify that I don't worship them. That's weird. I just think they're cool people and I'm, I'm glad that I discovered them so long ago. They're very much the reason that I've personally always wanted to do YouTube myself. I want to return what they gave me to me to others. And I want to be a safe space for those that may not have one. I want to do silly, goofy edits that make people laugh like I've seen other YouTubers do, and I want to make people smile and be a place where people can go to out of comfort, because that's what these YouTubers gave to me. I just... I want to have a shared space with others where I can be myself. I want to do more than just survive in life, you know? Yeah, the thrive, not survive. Um, YouTube's just a pipe dream for me, though, I'm afraid. Um, I don't feel like a particularly interesting person. In fact, I'm quite sure that I have never even had an original thought in my entire life. So being a YouTuber, I I don't think that's something I'll ever get to do or have. As much as it does sometimes hurt when people leave me in comments or when trolls come into my stream, etc. Nobody can hurt me as much as I hurt me. And it's constant. <laughs> it's constant. My brain sucks. And I, I would also like a new one, please. One that can create serotonin on its own and one that knows how to shut up. I would like one now. That would be great. <sighs> Not the greatest joke. I'm sorry. Now to get back on track. <laughs> I do want to post. I want to stream. It's fun. I love it. And I actually really like interacting with people. It's great to be able to do that in a safe space and practice it somewhere that is, well, safe for me. And with people that I actually like. <laughs> but again, I'm a very low energy person. It takes so much out of me just to get out of bed, make and eat food, shower, just normal life things take so much out of me. It's <sighs> editing in particular is something I just suck at. I'm very bad at doing things if they don't have a deadline. I already procrastinate and I have executive dysfunction. So it's, <sighs> it's fun to deal with. Um, yeah. I say I suck at editing, but it's because I suck at the act of editing. And in fact, I usually just, I won't edit. Um, it's just another thing that I have to do. YouTube became kind of an unpaid job for me. I feel like it's a bad thing to say, but it's the truth. As much as I love playing games and sharing them with others, and as much fun as I've had on my YouTube and on my Twitch, it's just, I don't know. Depression just gets in the way, I guess. Because there's people who post literally daily without problems there's so many people out there who are so much better than me who can work and do things that i wish i could do without issue um anyways 
when I end this video and post it before I don't. There will be minimal editing for two reasons, so I actually post it in a timely manner, and because this is a pretty serious topic for me personally. So, yeah. I hope life treats you all well, and as a piece of homework, please go check out and subscribe to the channel if a smaller creator who is actively grinding towards a goal. I don't care what the goal is, I don't care who the creator is, but I will try to include some suggestions of people that I personally like in the description. Um, there may only be one or two, but I already have a friend who streams in mind. There will only be one, and it will be that friend. Unfortunately. Um, I don't really follow small creators, and discoverability sucks on most big platforms. Especially YouTube and Twitch. But, um, the friend that I, I, I know, he, he streams every day, so he's doing better than me. <laughs> um... Thank you for anybody who made it to the end of this video, and if anyone has been waiting, awaiting my uploads, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be okay for a long time, but I do wish you the best. I wanted to add more, but I didn't write it down, so I forgot. Um, the last thing that I want to say is that I would like to return sooner rather than later. But I don't know if it'll happen. I don't feel like I'm interesting. I don't feel like... I don't feel like I'm something that people should waste time on. So putting myself out there online for people to watch is just... I can't believe I've even done it in the past. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. I do want to return, I just... My aunt... Again, more likely to return rather than not, but... I don't know when that would be... I... I haven't been okay in a long time, and I don't know when I will be. So, yeah. This video will probably go up with very little or possibly not even any editing because I I will not upload it otherwise. Um, and you guys deserve to know that um, you guys deserve to know. There's like, there's more than a hundred of you following me and I've just been gone for months. So yeah. Oh, I'd like to say, I was working too hard. It's just for now. We're good. I'm going to be back soon. But it's just depression. And I don't know what to do about it. So. I've made it this far. Thank you. I appreciate that you value what I have to say. Because not even I value what I have to say. <laughs> um... <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry, I make a lot of self-deprecating de jokes. I think a lot of people from this generation do. Um, bye bye. <laughs> Have a nice day.